We decided to do our National History Day project on Pablo Picasso Revolution in Art. At first, we had no idea what our topic was going to be about, so we decided to ask our U.S. history teachers, Mr. Curry and Mr. Gerard, for any interesting ideas and example topics on revolution, reactions, or reforms in history. Then we went to an official website and looked at sample topics. The one that caught our eye was Pablo Picasso Revolution in Art. We chose this one because Pablo Picasso literally changed the definition of art. We found numerous articles of research from many resources. One of our several resources we used were books from the library. Some of the books were about Pablo Picasso's life, but what we really needed was his artwork and descriptions. We also used a book from the art teacher in our school. Another resource is the internet. To see the books and websites, please visit our bibliography. Our choice for presentation category is a movie. We chose this because you can do various selections with movie making programs. With this type of representation, we can use text, visuals, and audio. We created this Pablo Picasso Revolution in Art project with all our research and from the help of our school teacher. How is our topic selection similar to the thesis of the National History Day project? The themes for this particular project is revolution, reaction, and reform in history. Pablo Picasso revolutionized the meaning of art. Years before, art was serious matter. Before Picasso, people would only paint portraits and scenery. They would not express their minds and heart into one's art. When the people observed Picasso's art, it inspired them to speak through their composition. This event changed of the face of art. Abstract. Pablo Picasso reinvented abstract art. This was to express feelings and emotion. Abstract art is an art that does not attempt to represent external, recognizable reality, but seeks to achieve its effect using shapes, forms, colors, and texture. This painting was Picasso's first painting of Cubism. The painting is called Les Demoiselles de Evignon. At that time, people were surprised at his work of art. Gradually, people began to understand his style of art. One of his most famous art pieces is House on a Hill. This was to promote Spanish mountain village of Huerta de San Juan. He always had an interest in these kind of buildings. Cubism is an early 20th century style and movement in art that was especially represented through painting. This design was a perspective with single viewpoints that abandoned and used simple geometric shapes, interlocking planes and collages. Picasso and another artist named George Brack developed the concept of cubism.